Okay, you shall show yourself. As I've just realised I haven't been recording for the past couple of minutes. Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> it's just one of those things I can just add it in. Uh, right, I need to go to this layer, grab that, and bring it up to your layer. Right, as you shout, you know, um, show yourself, this old woman comes out from inside the barn. Please don't hurt me. Are oh, the goblins gone? She could be a witch. <laughs> Do you actually say that, Adam? Biscuits. Could be a goblin. <laughs> Wow, you guys are evil as fuck. I said teen biscuits. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, please say they're gone. They've been ravaging my farm for days. I sent word to Earthwall, but they said they couldn't spare any guard. <sighs> oh! Oh, fantastic! You've killed one! Did, did you kill him in the den or on the road here? Oh the dear. Road. Oh, on the road! I kind of want to say there. in the den. <laughs> in the den? I don't know! <laughs> Just give up on the fight! It's like, yeah, we totally killed him in the den. <laughs> did you actually say that you killed him in the den? No, along the road. They'll only come back. <laughs> hey, get paid twice. <laughs> okay, well, Chief, thank you for killing the goblins on the road. And yeah, she asked if you'd be. Oh, that that was me. I'm sorry, they came through recently. I came out of my hiding spot and I knocked over some pots. It's terrible, you know, when you get face goblins, you get these jitters and can't seem to walk straight or hold anything. Oh, my farm's ruined, my prize cattle are gone. Do you oh. need any more help? Well, if you could kill the rest of them, that'd be wonderful. They, they're nesting somewhere nearby. Um, and she starts looking up the sun, going, oh no, they'll be back soon. Well, they sent out several raiding parties. Oh, I, I'm gonna go uh, back inside and hide under the table. Oh, they took my husband and killed him. And my sons. And my daughters. Why they left me, I don't know. Terrible creatures, goblins. Well, I say we set an ambush for the next party that comes along. I'm just trying to see what Jack's typing. Mm. Is there a way I could hide on top of the roof without the goblins seeing they're coming yeah. back? Yeah, you can make a stealth check. Which I'll probably end up failing pretty badly. Well, that's how high your dex is. Uh, also, I think you're at disadvantage for your armour. Yeah. So roll it again, we'll take the lower of the two. Not that yeah. big a difference. Right. <laughs> really so... Now, uh, Farmhouse House, Adam is on a stealth of 12. I'll just be sort of buying flat, keeping an eye out. Yep, no on the other side of the pitch roof, I assume it is. Yeah, uh, Jack, as you ask, you know, if you can come in, she said, Yeah, yes, please, do come in. I, I'm afraid I don't have uh, much I can offer you in terms of uh, refreshments. Uh, maybe a couple of carrots, but that's all I have. A small tankard of water. I was just expecting some candy. Would that, would that be acceptable for you? I a rather large oven, Adam. <laughs> tall grey gentleman and tall blue gentleman and small child, which I can only expect is your adopted daughter. Not one to judge. <laughs> you know, these are modern times we're living in. And she still hasn't sorted me. I'm good. <laughs> She has no idea you're up there. Say, can we use me as bait if she said that, that her sons and daughters have all been killed? <laughs> <laughs> this little halfling with a grace. 
<laughs> Great hammer. Just, yeah, I'll be bait. I look like a kid. Like riding I look like a kid. I look like a kid. Great hammer petticoat. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Everything is wrong with that, though. If anybody wants to draw that, go ahead. <laughs> like, draw that? a halfling in a very small petticoat dress with a massive war hammer. Oh, I can draw that later. I'll draw it in a bit. I'm just expecting something like Princess Peach. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, like baby peach with a war hammer. Yeah. Bring it on, you. I love you. Okay, uh, yeah, as she invites you in, guys, um, her space is a bit of a mess. Um, there's a small fire in the top right corner, which is all burnt, burnt out now, so cinders and ashes. Uh, there's a small table next to it. Uh, <laughs> over the fire, there is a small little cooking pot, which has just been collecting rainwater doesn't smell particularly good if you go near it and give it a bit of a whiff you it's drinkable but it's that off smelling water it's been out in the sun all day if you know what i mean i take it yeah. a bit of time to wait before they get here uh yeah you got a couple of hours then i forge a document to make it look like the signature of one of the farm hands <laughs> <laughs> You'll need the original to copy. Someone get us to sign this document so I can forge it. Which Jack has. <laughs> that is illegible. Um, no, because we needed a signature from the farmhands. Yeah. The that, that's the requirement for completion. Well, is a signature of gratitude. And find a document that she signed. I'm up on the roof. Somebody else. <laughs> Somebody in sniffing the... around, oh shit. <laughs> no, no metagaming, come on. Um, can I use a perception? Yeah, you can use a perception. Can I look down the chimney? <laughs> yeah, you can, look down, uh, you can look down the chimney, Adam, you can see a pot a over what would be a campfire. Uh, yeah, with that perception, you see a couple of um, bits of paper dotted about. They look like um, very important letters. They've got some sort of seal on them. Sort of in the bottom left, well, bottom right corner with the wax and the um, tabard sort of thing. They appear to be sort of like bank notice or something like that. And you see a couple of uh, other certificates, which are much finer printed paper and everything else on the wall. And they've got a couple of blue ribbons, They're like um, best in show, best calf sort of thing. So obviously this small bit of the farm has its way in the world. Yeah. I'm um, guessing you guys chat about for a couple of hours? Yeah. I do a reception every half an hour just to make sure. Uh, okay, then you actually putting some effort into it. You sort of. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm, I'm actually... overwatch. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much up there keeping an eye out actively so nothing sneaks in. Okay. Yeah, roll, let me know. Uh, no, that's right. I'll take your passive for the time being. Right, a uh, couple of hours go by. Do you guys actually want to position yourselves anyway? Are you just going to, like, stay inside the farmhouse and wait for the goblins to come back? I'll stay off on the roof. It's the more important question. I would say just by the door. That way, if they finally do reach the door, I can just drop down on one and just impale them with the great salt. Okay. Uh, I need a very different looking goblin. You will do. Alright then. As you guys, uh, sort of hang about and wait for the afternoon to ebb on it starts to get towards the evening it starts getting a bit uh darker out not quite as dark as it is now but around about sunset in september uh you guys see the goblins come back and they start heading up the main road uh move them up to the right layer that would be incredibly grateful So what do you guys do? I yell down the chimney that they're coming. <laughs> now, do you actually yell? No, I, I just sort of go and stay down the chimney. They're coming! 
<laughs> okay, the woman panics for a second. Ah! Voice from the ceiling. Oh no, I'm going mad. I'm, I'm certainly going mad. I'm gonna uh, have to. It's just him up on the roof. I was trying to forget about him. Him? <laughs> just sort of. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I don't think my nerves can take much more of this. Oh no, the shakes are back. Oh dear. Oh, keep it together, imagine... Agnes. Keep it together. I could imagine it. I'd just give her a heart attack if I just turned up. It's like, it's a no. And this isn't Magica. <laughs> okay. So, you can hear. Adam, you can see them coming. You scared the poor woman half to death. What are the rest of you going to do? During all this? Prepare for battle. Yeah, I get my. Hammer out. Actually, Brian, would I have enough time to sneak into the field? The roof. Uh, mm, yeah, go on, give me a still check. I'll let you all have one move action, because you were preparing for this. Yeah, I think... Oh, I've got to do it twice, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. If you want to move yourself into position where you want to set up your ambush yeah, there's a mile that, away that, <laughs> I can reach you in one turn still uh, that you. didn't add them as a group that's what I was thinking of Chris oh, it's fancy. that way I can still get to you if they do reach the front door and they still haven't spotted me and I can ambush them on the main road did better on that stealth check than I did the initial one. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> More tell better me going in the field. <laughs> yep, you just perched in amongst the wheat. Just like, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on. I want you to get closer. I want you to get closer. Um, Adam, as you sort of came off the roof there, you noticed that some of these goblins were a bit better armed. Hmm. As well. Well, it's the other ones are sort of like wearing loincloths and bits of rags to sort of cover themselves. These guys appear to be actually wearing some sort of armour. Or what would count as armour. Just goblin sized. <laughs> well, not really goblin sized as a. They're <laughs> just walking around with these massive bits of armour on Yeah. Pot yeah. pots and pans. Just as... <laughs> uh, yes, the one in front looks a bit better off in terms of his army. He looks a bit fresher made and whatnot, made from actual leather as opposed to mangled bits of hide. He's carrying a crossbow, not a short bow. Oh, I'm sick and tired of waiting. Let's just go out and go towards them. Yep. <laughs> like I said, I gave, I gave you all, I'm going to give you all one free action to move into a position to ambush them, because that's what you plan to do. Like, well, I'm in... Yeah, you're in stealth mode in the <laughs> yeah. wheat. I couldn't be in the best. Alright. It's like that I'll... scene from Signs, you're just moving the wheat gently. I'll literally go there and stand on the edge. Okay. So they come up there. You would like to roll for me a stealth check, please, Christy? Yes. Do halflings still get a plus on stealth? Uh, like no. What they get is lucky. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, nine. Okay. Hmm. Uh, anybody else? I'll move out the cabin and just inside the field line. Okay, Jack, did you want to move yes. anywhere? I shall stay hidden. The 13. Nice. So, what about somewhere around there, yeah? Oh, right. Over to there. Okay. Yes, please. 
These fails, so they all run this way. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping on. Nope. Also, you could say 13. <laughs> Alright then. These guys all move up pretty much like a tight unit. Sort of keeping. Well, not really tight as such, but they're fairly relaxed. They've still got their weapons drawn and whatnot. But as soon as he gets to there, the goblin in the front holds up his hand and gets them all to stop. And he starts pointing towards Christy in the field. And he tells his men to spread out. And you can hear him say it because he's speaking in common. So if I can have some initiative, please, ladies and gents. Your turn? Oh, yeah, I've got to click on my... Thing yeah, you have to click on your token. It's... Oh, that's a better one. <laughs> uh, there you go. 16. Yeah. My token to start off with. Okay. Okay, goblins are going on. 11. I repeat, goblins are going on. 11. There we go. Uh, so, two 16s, a 15. Mm, and an 8. Yep. Uh, who's got the higher initiative out of... I got four. And Boussar is on one. So you'd go before Boussar. <laughs> For the sake of where you guys sit in this order. But you can both act on the same turn, just or alternate, or however you want to do it, just as long as you both get a turn at some point. Yeah. That's all that matters. So, uh, either Jack or Adam, you, one of you two gets to act first. <laughs> the goblins have begun to spread out. They suspect someone is in the fields. Yes, you can. You can see them all clear as day. Tough movement if I move in stealth in it. Uh, let me double check for you. I believe you're okay. I think you only have to make checks after third after your movement speed. Well, double check. Uh, ability checks. Zoom in so I can read the book. that get rid of that so it's not actually a full page intelligence oops gone too far stealth uh nope it i'll take it as oh, here we go hiding okay so jack's gonna stand and wait uh, in combat, so if you come out of hiding, da, 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 da. uh, yeah, I'll just make you do a roll. Uh, if you make your full uh, your full movement, so I can move up to twenty five feet. But if I go up to thirty, then I've got to do another one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move up a bit more. There. Okay, I'm gonna stay happily crouched yep. down in what little wheat remains and <laughs> blend in Rambo style. Yep. Okay, and Jack said he was just gonna sit there and wait. Right, Christy, it's your go. Yep. Um. They might have seen you. I'll he says ambiguously. Um. I'll start going towards, but still in there. Uh, how far? I uh, I move down here. Yep. If I had to make another stealth check for me. Yep. Since you moved your full movement. When it come up. Oh, How did you get the same result? <laughs> did you roll the same number? That's what I'm curious about. Fine. Yeah. No. Roll 20. 
you know, random number generation using an atomic clock, and you still get the same numbers. All right, then. Uh, yeah. So you go along, you sneak down, you try and hide yourself as best you can. But uh, you don't think it's enough. Right. As for the goblins, so these three go off this way. This one will go over here as well to back him up. This guy stays perfectly still. These three start spreading out. Oops, not that bit of you. I want the guy behind you who will move to there. And this one right here in front of you. Yep. Screams out. There, it's the girl! Kill the girl! Obviously in a much higher pitch voice that I can't ah. do. Uh, D20 plus two. Yeah, that ain't gonna be enough. <laughs> no, that's that's a miss. Yeah. That'd be a straight up miss. But he is not building a spear, he is building a scimitar. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Still look to your eyes though it looks really like rubbish. It's half rusted to heck and the blade's dull. Right. Hmm. Balasar. Woo. Rock the dragon, ballsy. Where is 25 feet? There is 20 feet. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. You also, by the way, here, like, it's the girl, it's the girl in common. I shall still stay sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so that's all you're doing, yeah? Yep. Sweet, sweet. Okay, it's back to Adam and Jack. The two whiff masters. Okay, Adam, you get the first move. Do I get... I warn you, if you make that move, the first goblin on the left... What, this one? Yep, will get an attack of opportunity, because you, you are leaving his threatened space. What, even though I'm in stealth? Well, oh, as soon yeah. as you break well, the wheat, they will see the you. Ah. So, just so that you know, you can move up to there without provoking. As soon as you go past that square. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. Leroy! Pretty much. Do it. Hello, puppet. <laughs> Okay, and... as soon as you make that charge, the goblins in the cow field and the one, one in front of you all scream out in goblin. That sort of bleak, bleak. I use intimidation and shout back at them to see if I can scare them down a bit. Go on and give it a shot. Oh yeah, that is a <laughs> very good roll. You rolled a nice. That was almost a crit. <laughs> If I rolled two more, that would have been a crit. One more. One more. I'm you rolled a 19. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so, so close. <laughs> uh, right, roll d20. Right, I'll get advantage, because the Goblin Commander yells back. Yeah, they're demoralised, but not like the ones were last time. So, they're sort of neutral at the moment. Yeah, they are well aware of your presence and they're like, Jesus. <laughs> By the name it. of our goblin god who we cannot speak. And I attack the one in the fields yep. next to me. Wing. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> and very much an ouch as he falls flat on his back. Stabby stabby. Well, swing more like. <laughs> Uh, right, so let's put the X on him. One down. <laughs> uh, when you get that close as well, uh, Adam and Chris, do you notice that he is not only wearing, like, leather armour, although it's a bit haphazard? Yeah. Um, but he's also got, like, his shield and the scimitar on him as well. That looks like most of these. Uh, uh, if you move... It's only if you take your full 30 foot you would have 
uh, had to make the stealth check. If you break from where you are now straight into the cow field, they will see you immediately because there's nowhere to hide. What that are you sense. about the cornfield? So cow there's not bodies. much to hide behind. <laughs> yeah, if you go into the cornfield, I'll let you keep your stealth as long as you don't move more than 30 feet. What if he goes into, like, amongst the cow bodies? <laughs> They'll see him as soon as he breaks out the <laughs> corner from where he's hiding. <laughs> Just dives across, lunges down next Just to the dives straight like, into the belly of a cow. I totally didn't see that, right? <laughs> uh, I think it's 60. I will look it up for you. Bear with me. Either 60 or 120. I know it's a pretty decent range on the spear. A spear has a range of 20. I thought it had That's quite a bit more than that. Yeah. Oh, it's the javelin I'm thinking of. Yeah. That has the, like, ridiculous range. <laughs> yeah, if you're, move if you're aiming beyond the 20 feet, you take a disadvantage on the attack roll and you cannot fire more than its maximum range, which is 60. So sort of that range there is fine. Come into the field, you know you want to. Anything at that range you're taking disadvantage at, and that range is you're impossible. You, it's just going to fly wide. It's just going to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like any other time you throw a javelin at school. It's like a four-year-old joining the Olympics is not going to win. <laughs> four-year-old joining the Olympics can't even pick up the javelin. They're heavy. At school, I threw the discus further than the field was marked out at. <laughs> we were always told in school not to... We had javelin lessons, but the teacher told us on our first javelin lesson that a boy had one through the neck. Yeah, everybody gets told that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> do not go until I tell you to go and make sure everybody has thrown first. See, the one I got told one through the eye. Now that was a messy one. Okay then Jack, if you want to give me an intimidation check first and then we'll do your Warhammer swing afterwards. <laughs> 18 plus 2. These nice. guys are really, you really hate them today. <laughs> uh, it's like right. me and Jack turn up on the battlefield, we shout at them and they're just like, oh dear you god, go, what you... the hell's coming for Adam, us? are you sure you're not part barbarian? Right, uh, what do I want? Whoops. Oh, I might make that a uh, multi class <laughs> at some point. Uh, you can multi class if you want. Yeah. Right, uh, let's see the intimidation rolls first. Oh my Ooh. god, yeah. <laughs> <It's not looking laughs> <good for them. laughs> the ones by you are shaken. You get advantage on all attack rolls against them. So we'll just give these guys. Oops, wrong bar. That one, and we'll give Basically, them that. Those as well. Would it be those? Yeah, that's the ones I'm marking up now. Like, if mine was successful, it would have been about that. Yeah. Yeah, the ones with the wrench icon you're getting advantage on, so you can make another roll with all two out of Warhammer, see if you get any better. You might critical them, in this case, obliterate them. <laughs> it'd just be. It'd be what the cows are. Yeah. <laughs> if you manage to crit. You got the same. I'll take the first lot of damage, though. So, Jack's shown that he can intimidate people. That he can goblins. scream in their <laughs> face. He can intimidate goblins, but can't intimidate humans. <laughs> <laughs> Redemption, lads. Dang, straight. So... We've had Adam, we've had Jack, it's round to Christy. Round to me again, well... I'm the one, of the one that spotted you is dead, but unfortunately he did give away your position. Have I not right. gone yet? Well, I'm gonna step uh, to No, the you're side. on eight. I'm, I'm gonna step to the side as... Um, 
is that one's killed? Just like, well, that's that fun then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Problem <laughs> and, solved. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for that one who I'm by. Um, yep. And grab my warhammer from behind my back and bring it to the front and try that. Sadly, your blow lands short. It hits the dirt right in front of his feet. He's just like. Damn. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> yeah, he sort of looks down at the hammer, looks up at you, it's just like, Damn. you shouldn't be wielding that! <laughs> Why? Why have, is... That could have hurt me, like, really hurt me. <laughs> well, you hurt the fluffies. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt the fluffy cows. Yes. Oh god, that's just amazing, that's just this barbarian half of it going, you've murdered fluffy cows. <laughs> now I must murder you. Okay, goes for a swing at you with his scimitar, and he is not holding back. But still... still misses, though. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> like, goes for the full-on swing at you. You manage to roll out the way, and he takes off, like, a little bit of your hair. His friend will run into the side and try and get you as you're rolling out the way. Uh, I believe that's a hit. I want to say it's a hit. Ooh, yeah. It is, by the slightest of margins. So please take five points of damage as he lands the scimitar into your side as you try to dock and weave out the way. Um, so hit points, is it? Yep, yeah, if you click your uh, token on the map and that, you see where it says 15? Yeah. If you click that, uh, get rid of the 15, type in minus 5. It will do the calculation for you. Alright, so what might... Take 5 points of damage from his scimitar. So what, I can't just type in 10? No, if you type in minus 5, it will... It does like all the calculations for you, because you might get several points of healing later on. Alright, so where is it? Uh, it's alright, you've done it now. Have I? Yeah, your hit points would have been altered. <laughs> I didn't touch him, so yeah, I assume well, you did yeah, it. Yeah, I typed in 10, that's what I'm saying. All right, I yeah. just swapped them to 10, that was all I did. Yeah, it also do it that way, but you might get healing, so you might get healed for 3, so instead of typing in 13, you just say plus 3. All right, it just makes 30. sense just to change it to 10. So. It's, it's just the way the game works out. User disconnected from your channel. Right, uh, someone leaves, who left? Uh, probably Ollie. Yeah, it was Ollie. Yeah. Good lad, Ollie. Good lad. Yeah. Right, uh, Adam, the one in front of you. Hello, puppy. Click, click, boo. Well, twang. Oh. <laughs> With the crossbow. Wow. Yeah, these <laughs> are <laughs> these are doing some serious damage. Uh, right, I need that book, and I want the crossbow. Okay, take five points of piercing damage. Oh, that ain't gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. Shoots you with a crossbow bolt, gets straight into your side. It tickles a bit. I just point at him and go, in, You're next. <laughs> he sits there with a look of, Bring it. <laughs> Tries to reload the crossbow. <laughs> It's going to take him a turn to reload that. <laughs> right, and Jack. Two goblins will take their swing at you with their scimitars as well. Oh, that first one. That first one digs deep. The rusty, blunted scimitar. <laughs> Indeed, five points of damage, sir. For all the ones that hit you. Yep, five points of damage. There's yeah, the first one goes in, manages to take a swipe at you. Second one narrowly misses, it sort of cuts the back of your hair. Feel a breeze. Chris, you can ask for a better target there, could you really? <laughs> I was hoping they didn't move. <laughs> Mind you. And you can hush your gums before Brian <laughs> catches on. Oh, I'm well aware, they don't even know you're there. No, there's no disease when it comes to rust. 
Somehow everyone's immune to tetanus. <laughs> and the one with the bow is just going to sit there and tell his men to fight on. You're doing their captain proud. Oh, I'm going to scare the shit out of this guy. <laughs> and it is Chris's go. Yay. <laughs> He'll stay in stealth and move just to here. <laughs> and dragon breath. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Let me look up the track breath because it's different. It's to... Thirty foot lane, bomb stealth. That's gonna tickle. Uh, where's track one? If he does enough. Well, it's yeah. If you roll the spell, uh, you're channeling blue, aren't you? Yes, yes, lightning. Oh, lightning. Oh, five by thirty foot line. That's. I was hoping they didn't move. I could have got all three. <laughs> yeah, it's all something like that, like a dead straight line. It's a shame. It's shame, a shame that, that one didn't move over a little bit as well. Uh... Right, okay, then if you want to click the button to see how much damage you do. Devil. The you, you rolled high and low. That is amazing. <laughs> it did to me. <laughs> well, hey, seven points of lightning damage isn't anything to snuff at. Right, so, uh, slash roll, d20 plus. I want to see the face when there's a bolt of lightning comes <laughs> out of like, the It's like the gods, the gods are here. <laughs> they managed wow. to hit the ground quick enough, but they still take the damage. They take four points of damage, but they're not dead. They are slightly crispy. They're just like the gods are here, oh god. <laughs> the gods are angry. That's what you get for killing fluffers. <laughs> for killing the fluffies. I know that feeling. They'll Jack. find out who's angry in a minute if they get another turn. Uh, we'll see. It is Jack and Adam's go. Hello, Poppet. Hello, Poppet. <laughs> I'm going to intimidate. <laughs> first things first. Rawr. Wow. <laughs> you rolled a one. <laughs> that is um, it's just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you, you try to shout something out, but you sort of stammer and stutter. <laughs> yeah, he ain't phased. <laughs> Had a feeling. It sort of looks at you like, really? Right. Okay. Now swing at him with a great sword. Uh, is that a hit? God, it's a hit? It is not, sadly. You miss. Oh. You swing just that little bit too wide. That damage would have been nice, though. <laughs> that damage would have been great, unfortunately. That was nice damage as well. Unfortunately, Adam, this is D&D. &D oh. Where oh, the world will turn <laughs> yeah. on a knife edge. Uh, oh, actually, what does second wind do? Uh, gives you uh, healing. Yeah, that's hit points. Uh, I'm thinking of the other one that allows me to attack twice. Yeah, you're thinking the fourth edition was like, here, have an extra action if you want to. No, there is a move in fifth that allows me to have a second action as you well. You don't get that to fifth level anyway. Yeah, or you won't get that to your much higher level. Um, right, loading. Okay. So this uh, is going to be interesting. Well, this guy's shitting him. Well, he's kind of shitting himself, but at the same time, not. <laughs> yeah. He does not fear you. But he's at the same time, <laughs> yeah, no, he's not really up on the priority list. And it's uh, what are you going to do, so Jack? After Jack. Oh, uh, it's going down, so it's you and Jack yeah. are going on the same, then it's Chris, and then Goblins, and Chris. Uh, I assume you're going after Muggins in the back, yeah? Sweet. Make your roll, sir. Let's see if we can have another nail in this coffin. Mm. Sadly, no. You whiff. Hmm. Can I do an insight? Yep, yeah, that would be you done. 
Uh, it's now down to Christy. Um, you wouldn't really gain much from an insight. It's okay. a, like trying to read people. Like, see if they're lying to you or something like that. What's the one I'm thinking of that I used earlier that allows me to see if they're equal or... Uh, that uh, would be a knowledge. I promise that I got rid of the knowledges, so... Mm. I can't remember well, whether it came under insight or... Well, what, what are you trying to do? Tell me what you're trying to do whilst Christy... Oh, what are you going like, to do, Christy, first? I'm trying to work out their, like, armour and HP and stuff like that, but I think that's something else. I think they got rid of that entire mechanic. No, it's still in there, because I saw it the other day. Um... Well, you go look oh, it up. A, yeah, you know the one I'm thinking there's of. There's a Chris. talent you can take. Uh, Christy, what are you going to do? Um, I was just going to say, can I use my unarmored defense? Uh, you get your unarmored defense naturally. Naturally, it happens. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So your armor class is naturally that high because of your stats and all the rest of it. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine then. The one um, you can activate is Rage, which gives you um, benefits. Okay. Um, I was going to use intimidation because I'm just getting fed up with. Or well, you can rage and murder them all. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Okay then. So you are now raging. So you get to make an attack action if you so desire. Because it's a bonus action to activate. So strength roll. Uh, well, you can make a straight up attack roll, and, uh, you get to add plus two to your damage for them. And you're okay. gaining resistance, which means you take half damage. Um. Uh. Fine, I'll just do a normal attack. There you go. No, wrong button. That's a strength check. Check. Yeah. Need the hammer one. Okay, I want to say that's a hit. It is a hit! And not quite enough to knock him on his face, but he doesn't look very, very pretty for it. He's got quite a few teeth missing. He's got like a black eye and broken nose all from one hit from your hammer. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't look in the best of shapes. Okay, it is their go. Uh, you get... Uh, will you get an attack of opportunity? No, it's not really leaving your threatened area. But he will go for Adam. To back up his boss, who uses the disengage action and backs away. So he spends his move action getting out of your way, Adam. Do I get an attack of opportunity since that goblin centre in my threatened area? No, it's only if you leave. Ah, okay. Uh, disengage allows you to make a five foot step out at the cost of your move action. He says, double checking the rules and disengage. I believe that's what it does. I think that's right. I want to say that's right. Uh, combat. Actions in combat. Disengage. If you take the disengage, your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks for the rest of the turn. Yeah, Adam, what you're on about is... You can... It's called Know Your Enemy. It starts yeah. at heaven's level. You can oh, spend okay. a minute observing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just be, I know your stats now. I heard the close. Does Chris actually have a copy of the 5th edition Player's Handbook? I do. You gave us a PDF, didn't you? I know, but I actually had like a physical book closing. Oh yeah, he's got a physical book. Oh yeah. Book. I bought it when it came out. Alright then. Uh, first one against you, Christy. The one that you smacked in the face isn't very happy with you. Uh, doesn't hit though, he swings wide. And the next one against Adam going for the side. That's a hit. That is a hit. And uh, take five points of damage as that scimitar digs in nice and deep. What is it with them stabbing me in the side? 
Look, seems but, to be a recurring theme. Look, your flank is very nicely exposed without a shield. Uh, right. This one will attack you, Jack, as he swings around. He is going to be at disadvantage, though. That's uh, all you have to take with 13. Yeah, at 13. It's still a hit, though. Unfortunately, so take five points of damage. As that scimitar also digs in pretty deep. Finds a nice bit of meat and juicy thigh or gut. And these two will try and spot Chris if possible. No, it's not over yet. Remember, you are a uh, half-orc. So, this is never the end for you. And you always get a death-saving throw as well. Uh, yep, yeah, Chris, the back one spots you, but only just. You ain't going to be happy about what, what you find. <laughs> <I'm raw. laughs> he moves up to his friend and points out, like, He's there! In the wheat! Whatever it was, it shot us. It's got to be a pansy mage. We can both jump him. Okay. I just remembered about something that I've got. And speaking of, it's okay. What is it, Adam? Uh, uh, basically, when I roll one or two, I get to re-roll the damage die. Oh yeah, because you got great weapon fights, yeah, haven't you? Great weapon fighting, yeah. Uh, have that. you rolled recently? No, you rolled max no, recently. Yeah. Uh, I'll attack the one that spotted me, so... Rah. Yeah, as soon as you step out from the week, you hear both of them shout in Goblin, but uh, for the people watching, it's subtitled, and it's actually Holy for Asterix. Holy <laughs> 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 for Asterix. Hey, see, they haven't <laughs> Unfortunately, you miss with your hammer. <laughs> You swing it and he manages to duck out of the oh, way. My sheer presence. Oh no, you get uh, advantage because he's shaken. Yeah. He's terrified from Jack early, so you get to make another roll. I'll just swing again then. 14. It's still a miss, but only by the narrowest of margins. Manages to duck by and you hear you know that whoosh you hear when the heavy things fly overhead. He gets the full force of that, and along with the wind moving what counts as goblin I, hair. I, I take the rest of my time just staring at him in the eyes. He's a bit petrified that there's something that looks like a dragon in front of him. Huh. Do you hear the sound of rain, but it's a blue sky. And Jack and Adam, it's your go. Right, are you second wind? Okay. Which is... Fixie button. Seven hit points back. Yep. Bit of group. And then, can I disengage from that goblin and go into this goblin in front of me? Uh, yes. Then I do that. Uh, it's disengage. You spend your movement to move. So. Yeah. I intimidate. I'm going to get this one of these days. <laughs> Ten. Oh dear. Which isn't great. <laughs> He's still giving you this cold, dead look as he finally reloads his crossbow and you hear the safety <laughs> click off. This captain hey. is not impressed by you. Hey, better, better, better. Swing! Oh, that's uh, a it's a hit. You get to really roll an extra d6 though, because you rolled one. Yeah. Just uh, one d6. Right. So, slash r, one d6. Six. Wow. <laughs> uh, what does that put you at? Fifteen. Uh, yeah, you knock him the conk out. Sit down. <laughs> uh, I can't add up in my head because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I would knock I him to death. Turn? Would that count as a? Uh... Well, actually, faces does matter, does it? it? Microphone no. activated. I just turn around at that other goblin and go. 
you. <laughs> he looks at you. He's a little bit uneased, but he's fine. He's fine. You've stuffed me. You're next. Right, Jack, it's your go. Is he's hulking out? <laughs> Jack's got a raging something. <laughs> that Warhammer's going somewhere very uncomfortable. I feel sorry for Why that. Why then first? <laughs> He's already at disadvantage. Then rages. <laughs> yep. It doesn't stack you so get advantage problem. against him as well because he's petrified. Well, shaken. Not petrified. Petrified is different. But not stirred. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I don't think he's about to be stirred in a minute. He's wow. oh, he's stirred. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, very he's stirred. Stirred, smished, and re-rolled. <laughs> for for some reason, whilst all this is going on, you like hear out in the wind like this sound of a crowd <laughs> as his head comes clean off and it flies. <laughs> what am I expecting it just to land like an inch behind me? It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> Microphone muted. Microphone Oops, I need to rebind that key. I keep using my microphone. <laughs> so, yeah, your rage and you knock it clear. Which direction? Uh, towards Christie, so it sort of sails clean past Christie as well. And uh, oh. No. As a barbarian, you don't have the ability to heal, but you're now much better at tanking for the I'm time just... being. I'm just glad I'm a warrior right now, so I can have that second win. <laughs> yeah. I was pretty low. <laughs> yeah, it's a trade-off barbarian skate. You get more starting hit points, but you don't have the option of healing. But when you rage, you are resistant to uh, physical damage, so you take half. Yeah. Which is pretty good when you think about it. Like, these guys can only do three points as opposed to five. Rounding up. Well, it's D&D &D you're learning, so... Something we all have to do. Uh, Christy, it is your go. Yes, I will go for the one next to me. The one that you hit earlier? Mm, yeah, the one, yeah. Okay. Hit me next to me. Mine. Left, is he? Yeah, well, right. Yeah, yeah left, right, left. Uh, that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Roll the one! Nice roll, though. <laughs> roll the one, but still kill him outright. He is among the no... The... Well, they're piling up dead goblins at this rate. Okay, and with that, it is Zergo. <laughs> hmm. Well, Adam, that one that hit you in the side will take another swing at you. He best hit. <laughs> If if he bad. kills you, it's going to be amazing. It's a no. 14 oh, hit. On our screen, they're all no. dead apart from the two facing me. <laughs> no, the one that's here, he's on top of a friend. Oh, fair enough. Doesn't look Ooh. like that. Yeah. Oh, I just realised I get something nice against the goblin that's trying to hit me right now. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see if that is a hit. No, no. I did miss. Okay. I, for some reason, I thought your armor class was a lot lower. Right, and Chris, these two shall start something with you. They start break dancing. Uh, right, we'll deal with... No, 23, yes! <laughs> well, don't forget, they're both at disadvantage, so that one was first, so 17 misses, yeah? Yeah, I'm 19. Right, cool. And then we'll do the one next to him. Uh, 17, 16, both nope. miss. Yeah, both go for their scimitars and swing wide. It's now your go. Mm. Hello, Ducky. <laughs> the one right in front of the plate. Hello, Ducky. What's this hello, Ducky nonsense? Uh, oh, <laughs> <You'll see. laughs> that's a that's a Ducky. Hello, Squishy. Squishy indeed. You'll bring your hammer down. It caves in this ribs. You hear it it's all collapsing swat. and crunch. <laughs> I need a sort of laser. And shake the bits off my warhammer. Yeah. 
And it is now round to Jack. Go on, charge at the other one. What the heck was that slammed in my house? Not quite the last one. No, there's one left, but you yeah, and Jackie. Christy get advantage on that one because you're yeah. flanking him. You've seen the X over that and ignore it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's a splat. That's a hit. <laughs> it is a splat, and he is very much among the dead. Yeah, curse splat. That Warhammer caves in the spine. You hear it snap like uncooked spaghetti, and he just collapses into a heap. Uh, Adam, I believe it's your go. I will intimidate this son of a bitch. <laughs> Why intimidate him? You've got to have advantage. <laughs> I want to intimidate him. Your obsession with intimidation. <laughs> God. It's not going to work. Isn't that all of them gone? Or am I no, there's no, one between you and Adam. Uh. Yep, I'm proving. <laughs> well, I'm trying to prove. Uh, hang on a second. If I move his friend out of the way, there we go. Right. Since the intimidation didn't seem to work, I'm just gonna go swing. But I get to re-roll. Yep, but one d six. Yeah, one d six. Six damage. Six damage. Uh, do you want to take another swing? Even though you hit anyway, but just for the sake of having advantage. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Either way, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead, Dave. So he falls as well. So congratulations, you have murdered all of the goblins. I feel sorry for that captain that I just went. So I can't intimidate you. But I'll just annihilate you. Um, I also didn't take note of how many we had. I want to say we had eight, didn't we? There were three my side and four. Yeah, they split four four, yeah. so. Well, there was eight of them there all together. So let me just do a quick XP count. Uh, what do you guys want to do whilst I'm doing this Oop. accountancy? Go back, I suppose. We want to go and get our money, don't we? I, I want to <laughs> and search... in the question, we get the signature. I want to <laughs> search that um, captain, see if we can find out where the den is. Okay then. Right, uh, we'll deal with the goblins first, so you loot them all. Yep. Uh, did you want to take their weapons? Uh, yeah. Sell them. <laughs> okay then, you find one short bow, one hand crossbow. Uh, mark it down, or whoever wants to carry it all. Please take note of weight as well. I'm just. If you're going overburdened, you are going to be slow. I'm not picking up that crap. Oh, I don't need any of it. And amongst them all, you find six silver pieces. So uh, that's. One silver fifty copper each. Uh, so, yeah, one short bow, one crossbow, six scimitars, and they were all wearing leather armor, and they all have shields. Uh, I don't really care about the armor. Uh, Although I might take some of the armor, because <laughs> it will and, fit me. <laughs> and I really don't need the shield. <laughs> I've got one. No, I don't either. Okay then, so Jack's taking the crossbow and the shield. I'll take some armor. Uh, I think actually taking armor is going to be detrimental to you, oh, Christy. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's unarmor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you get better yeah. unarmored. I'll, I'll grab three scimitars. <laughs> you can still get yes. the bonus with a shield, but... Chris, did you want any of the scimitars? Nope. I'll just grab the lot then. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm just and with the woman, camp. Jack. Uh, was there any, um... Oh, how nice. Was there any information about where the den was on the captain? Uh, yeah, you search the captain, he has nothing on him that gives away a location. He has no map, he has no paperwork. The most thing that made him sort of distinguishable from everyone else is the fact that he actually had the clan's 
insignia tattooed on his skin as opposed to painted on a bit of cloth and sewn in to Can the rest I of his armour. that bit of cloth? Yeah, you can take the cloth off one of them, it's not a problem. Yeah, so I can know what land that... Well, I can do a bit of research on that plan yep. later. For next time, because we're going to be uh, wrapping up after this. Goblin clan cloth, I'll just put. Yep. Oh, Moonshadow and Jack are typing. <gasps> They're both typing at the same time. How do I edit my character sheet? I didn't heat that. Oh, yeah, you want to put it into your character sheet? Yeah. If you go to core and look right at the top of both your armor classes, like a pencil. Uh, if you click on it, it'll then open core. everything up to be editable. Where's core? Right, if you look where it says your character name. Underneath yep. that, you've got core, spells, equipment, character. Yeah. If you... Is it visible? Oh, it's visible on all of them. Anyway, there's a pencil icon. There you go. If I click it for you, all the boxes now become yellow. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So you can fill them out. So you want to be on that page. Add three scimitars. Yeah. Well, you can type in scimitar and then up the quantity to three and then put in the weight for them. Uh, yeah, Jack, with the woman, um, after all the fighting and that's died down, she um, tentatively opens the door are they? Are they gone? Did you kill them all? Oh. Oh dear. Oh, uh, right. I suppose I best give you something to let Captain Vasilis know that you've done a good job. Oh dear. Uh, oh, she scrambles around for a bit. She opens up one of the drawers on the counter, pulls out a inkwell and a quill and scribbles out like a really quick uh, very poorly handwritten note but it's still legible uh, sort of where she got the shakes it's splattering the ink a couple of times she's trying her best to dab it off uh, gives it the signature rolls it up and he hands it to you Jack and says if you give that to the captain he will uh, he will pay you what he owes uh, thank you again hopefully these raids will stop soon when winter sets in oh do you mind if I follow you back to town and I might be able to find a couple of extra hands to help me get what remains of this harvest in? Oh dear. Never mind the fact that most of her harvest, or at least what's left, is now covered in blood. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything else in the house? Oh, actually. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, Jack's going to see if she starts walking back to town. Uh, whilst you guys are sort of tallying up loot. I want to search the house a sec. Yeah, true, because you went in there. The old woman. <laughs> uh, are you going to pick up a basket and use it to pop out of bounds? No, what I want to do is you know those documents that were found earlier <laughs> you are where no. she's in there with you she won't know a thing she will know adam oh, come on that's mean well she might not know by the time i finish with her <laughs> are you going to murder an innocent old woman <laughs> you dare because i was going to offer to help helping her cough in <laughs> <laughs> we made a mess. Alright, let's do this the nice and easy way. I use sleight of hand on the documents. <sighs> okay. Won't get messy. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> if you roll a natural 20, you can swear to God I'm flipping the table and leaving now. <laughs> you always do this. <laughs> Go on, make that sleight of hand. I have a I've got to try and find it on my bloody character sheet again now. <laughs> Where the hell did the character It's core, go? skills, underneath religion, it's dexterity. Yeah, I can't. stealth. Uh, where is it? Uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you. Almost natural. 
Uh, let me check something first. I have a very good reason for this, and you'll be thanking me later. Uh, what armor were you wearing again? Scale oh, mail, wasn't it? Uh, chain, uh, right? Chain. Same as mine. Oh, you're wearing chain mail? Yeah. But it's under heavy. But remember, I get a bonus when I'm using, um, because of my, uh, shots. Yeah, no, I was just seeing if you took any penalties for sleight of hand for wearing heavy armor like you used but to. I don't, because I'm proficient in it. Yeah, no, yeah, fine. I have important documents of the farm. <laughs> Do you actually want to read said documents? Now that you've taken them. Yeah. The documents you took... We're literally, like, best in show and all the rest of it, certificate. Yes, but Aww. you don't realise what you've given me. I have her signature. She doesn't I sign them. Forge. They are not signatures of her, they are signatures of other farmers in the area. Yeah, I can forge those other farms. <laughs> Alright then, Adam is going down the evil path, everybody. <laughs> How long until he gets under my skin and dies? I'm going to have a farm working for me. <laughs> Whilst Adam is being very, very evil and sneaky, uh, Jack's headed off back to town. Chris and Christy. What are you guys oh, doing? Have, uh, I would escort the old left. woman back to town. <laughs> okay, Christy wanders off back to town as well. And you help bring in the crops, yeah, Chris? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll stay there and help with the crops. Okay, Adam. But it takes you a few hours. It brings it right round to nightfall. Jack, you get back to town A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Look at you nice folk. <laughs> Two of them. Adam Adam appears to be not lifting a finger. It's like, I'm planning for the future. You know. Playing the long con. Plans. Yeah. Uh, of, so, yeah. I'm tying in with the backstory of my character, remember what I told you, Brian? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> it's gonna work out. <laughs> Wait until things hit the ceiling. <laughs> right. I have backup plans. So yeah, uh, you two, it takes you a while to get all this uh, crop in, what you think is going to be better that's not splattered in blood. Uh, the old woman is incredibly thankful to you. And she roots around in a what remains of her small little hut to try and find you something. And she finds you... Uh, let's see here. Let's us roll a T8. Let's see what we get. Yeah, she finds an extra gold coin for you. She says, like, this is all I can spare. Fair enough. <laughs> but you have to remember, like, gold is yeah. <laughs> pretty damn high. That's like getting 20 quid for doing a small field. Which, in today's terms, is pretty good money. Where is the money on the um, sheet, on your character sheet? Uh, it's in... in the bottom middle. Yeah, it's in your core. core. If you look right in the middle, where it's got uh, your armour. And then down the left-hand yeah. side, it has CP, SP, EP, GP. Okay, so it's GP. Yeah, so yeah. you get one on top of that. Yep, yeah. okay. Cool, so do you all head off to town? Yep, and head yeah. off yeah. to town. Right. Uh, Jack, you get your 15 gold reward. Like the uh, lucky son of a bee that you are. That's not so much lucky, is that he didn't tell us. Yeah, pretty much. Which is pretty good of him, actually. I'm quite proud of him. The, the half-walk barbarian. Oh, do you want me to put it in for you? Uh, what will that put you at? 25. And add your shield. There yeah, we go. I thought you bartered 15 gold. Yeah, it was 10 and he managed to talk his way up to 15. Yeah. So, right, you guys all head back to town. You've all got a few uh, cuts and bruises for your time. Take it, we've rested on the way back as well. 
Uh, well, it's literally only a couple of miles north. It wasn't even worth... Nah. The, the rest was because you guys got exhausted from that first fight. Yeah. So, you'll make it back to town. Uh, between you all now, you have gained 163 points of experience. Which is quite a lot. Oh, I have no idea where that is. It's at the top of your character sheet. So, you're yeah, just over halfway. How much was it? 163. 163. One lot of XP. And with that, and you guys back in town, we shall uh, wrap oh, up this plans. first session. i got plans for next time. <laughs> I know you got plans for next time. I have plans within plans, and wheels within wheels. Where is the XP again? Uh, top right of your character sheet, on the core. Right. Uh, oh yeah, I've got it. Yep. Cool. Um, so, 163. There you go. Cool. That's going to work out pretty well for me in the long term. So, congratulations everybody on completing your first session of D&D &D with me. Yay! Did you all enjoy it? Yes, it yeah. was very good. Yep. Thank you very much. Did you guys want to do any shout-outs whilst you're here? And we'll wrap up the show. Um, not in particular, <laughs> to be honest. You know, I'm going to get back to stalking and finding out all the gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, then we shall do that for next time. Yep. Uh, speaking of, when's good for you all? Is same time next week good? Yeah, that's good for me. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter if one of you can't make it, uh, we've got other people. That we can rope in. Yeah, because you were saying about being like a base. Yeah, town is completely safe and we will have multiple parties of people. Cool. Okay then, so uh, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to like, favourite, subscribe and all that YouTube jazz. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.